Peace, man. Peace, man. This one never time again. Um, make, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Help me out so I can help you out. And go to my website, thenature.co, if you look for any herbal stuff or for a reading or for anything like that. But I wanted to talk more about crypto today again um, and what my predictions are for what for what is happening today. So today, or or if, if, if you've been following crypto at all, it, it's been in, in a decline. Like it's, it hasn't been at least... 30 40 percent in the past like two weeks <laughs> and three weeks something like that it's been it's, it's, it's just been going down right and i'm gonna get into the into the astrology of this too as well you know a lot, a lot so some people in the financial world don't believe that astrology is a thing but uh we know so What's happening is that today and tomorrow, right? Today's the 14th, right? Yep, the 14th. T- t- today and tomorrow, there is a um, there is a meeting. The, the Federal Reserve is having a meeting to, to tempering bond purchases. So they're basically having a meeting about the f- financial state of what's going on. So I'm going to read this a little bit for you. Slightly. The Federal Reserve has announced that it intends to begin pairing back is bond purchases in a process known as tapering. A long anticipated decision was arrived at during the Federal Open Market Committee uh, on November 2nd to 3rd. The tapering news is hardly a surprise to anyone who's been paying attention. It's been months in the making and comes at a time when inflation, inflation has risen much higher for longer than the federal officials estimated early in 2021. We knew that it was going to be crazy because they printed like, what, 40% of the the money ever printed last year in 2020? Fucking crazy. In the past 18 months. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward to um, what this means for... Hold on. Where, Where is it? Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Sorry, guys. I lost my place. Fuck it. I'm going to go to the astrology. So, now, the, the, the meeting today, right? It's happening today. If you notice, Mars is at zero degrees. And you think that's a coincidence? And Mercury is at one degree. So, can you see them? Oh, shit. You see it? Do you, you, you think that that's a coincidence? Nah, I think not. Um, Mars is in going into Sag, and Mercury is going into Capricorn. Mercury, of course, we know is a, a, a communication or a technology that is used to, to communicate, and it's going into Capricorn, which is the government structure or global monies. And Venus is in retrograde from Pluto in global monies in the government structure. And uh, Mars has just entered Sag, which is like philosophy. Uh, 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 um, uh, higher learning, things of that nature. My prediction. Oh, b- b- before we actually go into that, it's actually transiting over the South Node. What, 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 what does the South Node mean in transiting astrology? So K2, which is the South Node, if you don't see, K2 is the South Node. It's just um, vague astrology, the, uh, their lingo. K2 sets rules on, on anonymity, sudden expect, unexpected rise, sudden unexpected fall, lack of attention, discrimination, allergies, infections, bugs, things, blah, 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 spiritual growth, which is actually fascinating because it's actually in the, uh, K2 is in the, is in um, uh, Sagittarius, which is also interesting. Being exposed to burglary, it can also indicate infections, heart to diagnose, and blah, 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 blah. So it says sudden unexpected rise, sudden unexpected fall. Sudden unexpected rise, sudden unexpected fall. Now remember, Sag, I'm sorry, Mercury just entered Capricorn and Venus and Pluto, I'm sorry, Venus is retrograding now. We're we're in the Venus retrograde. And it's it's 944, if you can see on the top left-hand corner, (laughs) as I'm saying this shit. (laughs) And the moon is conjunct Uranus. Do you think that this is a coincidence? You think this is a coincidence? (laughs) My prediction is that in the short term, cryptocurrency is about to fall. I think that the the next two days, the meeting from the next two days, um, from this uh, tampering bond purchases meeting is going to create 
some sort of havoc and it's going to make make <clears throat> cryptocurrency as well as the stock market plummet for for some time. I think that they're going to um uh change the interest rates to make it so that you know inflation doesn't do such harm to the uh, economy, even though there's really not much you can do at this point. You fucking printed out 40% of the money you haven't printed out in 18 months. What the fuck you thought was going to happen? That that bread wasn't going to go to $10? Like, what the fuck you think was going to happen? Anyway, I, want, I wanted to, to, to give my take on it from an, from an astrological point of view. And as you can see, all the planets are like almost equally aligned on the on the on the upper left hemisphere of the of the of the of the of the, of the chart like do you really think that, that that this is a coincidence hell no hell no watch mark my words on this one mark my words it's not going to be positive what 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 comes out of this and to be honest i feel like they're going to try to make this and, and flip it into more restrictions for, for for this whole, you know, cray cray thing that we got going on right now. So keep your eyes open. Keep your head on a swivel. Uh, comment below and let me and let me know what you think about this. I um, love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Uh, have a beautiful day. Uh, and remember, astrology is science. It's not no woo woo shit. Astrology is fucking science. Love you guys. Peace.